Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to... You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I mm. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chong is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips' corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Coming down to see the kitchen. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Chang Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, locavores only. Shit, Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 manor chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please. Come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out. Super. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me. Uh, 
I knew we were having visitors! What is that a little spring clean? Or take it away, cool enough! Tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Oh. Woo! I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, 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 I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed... I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. That's the rifle I need. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor.
Okay, there's the scope. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus's gun and he ain't got three brain cells. the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Where are you, man? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware. But I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Really? Come up! The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor! Right, right! Got it! Now, relax! The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Trevor? You see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Take out a guard at the bottom of those steps! Under the control tower! Kill, Trevor! Hurry it up, Ronnie! Shit! I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! Shoot! They know we're here! The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Over by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Trevor! Come on! Keep it moving! You hear that? I can hear an engine! They'll see that body! Quick! Shoot out the lights on the tower above him! There's one, and there's the other. You got him! Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. The man wants to pay his risk. You should have seen the look on his face. There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out. Shit. You gonna take him? Woo! Down he goes. Oh no! Bottom of the tower. Another guy's on his way. He's down. 
down there, amongst the bodies. Clean shot, Trev. Another guy's coming out of the tower. Must be looking for the one you shot. He found him! Take him out, or he'll trip the alarm! And they all came tumbling down. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man! You're in my crosshairs again! There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb! I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Shit! He's coming out the far door! Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's come out! Good kill, Trevor! I'm fitting it! Just keep a lookout! And, whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! I think someone's coming! Shit! He's coming over here! Shit! He's on to me! Always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive. You're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority. If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here. Try and hit the pilot when he's settled. They might think he crashed. Might the. <laughs> Where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or their other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. 
I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego...
You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash. Ah! Is that too much to ask? A little success, a little happiness. That's what I'm looking for! Phillips! Elwood! Oh, oh bullshit! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You wanted to win Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us! Start writing those names on tombstones! Cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family myth business you got! They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats! You got you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna. Competition in the marketplace! Take over time!
gas in a meth lab! Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots! You asked for this, assholes! Believe it or not, I need a cab. Of course! Driver should be with you soon. I'll be here. Who's available for a job? Got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I 
thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. <laughs> I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no mood. Um, so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's the stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Camp's up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again. Pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Wait here. Don't get killed. Don't be long. Let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. That go okay? I heard like a banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent question. Who is my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house I must... 
been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, right there. Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh! Get, get, get! Get, get, get! So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Trip! So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Cousin Floyd don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Hey until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. Hey! Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but... Oh! Oh! We're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you direction. Keep it straight now. Now keep going. See you at the bar. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! 
Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, wait! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere. Here, he's gonna sm You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go. Lucky miss! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Uh, 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 uh. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, 
You used to be thinner, but, eh, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabienne. Uh, good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, a. Uh... She's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. What were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there. I with. didn't ask for a blow by blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond kale, okay? It's too late for kale. And it's magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a Whoa, wow. oh, fuck! It's showtime, kids! You can't park there! Production vehicles only! <laughs> Come on, you any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar, huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta! Fuck! Screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It needs to be quiet. Right now. Shh. They're auditioning right now. now. Pupils, let's speak. You're going to be just as good then as I have been. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That was really... All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. 
All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh! <laughs> fucking do something about this? <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Hey! Hey! hey, hey, hey I got security! Security! <laughs> What'd you fucking Hold say? Come on! Big guy. Oh, Come on! There. No! Come on! Fuck. No! Come here, you little shit! <laughs> Go home, right now, Tracy! Hey, where you running off to? She's your daughter! Come on! They took our ride, we take their truck. Get in the truck, Michael! I got a deposit on that truck! We're running that prick down. He went left. Oh, I am so sorry. How can you sit there and look kind of get used to stunts? It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. Look, he went left. 